the name of my computer over here was I'll just go ahead and show you this is, this is the name of my computer is test user over here and I have uh, the work group work group was work, work group I did not go ahead and change it it is a default this is the system time in that computer and it has user level authentication that means it has a password and uh, I can also go ahead and try to message signing is disabled since I won't be able to access it over network but so that means I need to go ahead and extract it separately so this is how it looks like so I'll just go ahead and clear it out so I'll just go ahead and start with an intense scan plus UDP scan I'll just go ahead and close and open a uh, since I would be perfect perfect and I'll be doing intense plus UDP scan and let's see what would be the difference So UDP scan shows us uh, from which uh, we can go ahead and transfer uh, files like um, uh, let's say pictures or songs with virus inside that or any trojans or any backdoors inside that so it will be showing all the uh, ports which uh, through which we can go ahead and transfer the user datagram protocol let me just open another zen map and i will be doing another okay and I'll be doing the TCP all TCP port scan this is quite noisy and if you're trying to do this into a company's computer the administrator will easily be able to detect that someone is trying to go ahead and get a footprint of your computer and he may at the same point go ahead and throw you out of his network so you need to be very careful where you're going to use this specific all TCP port scan and 60% 0.6% done all the thousand ports have checked have been checked over here percent is done, 59 percent is done. Let it run through. All DC ports is quite, you can see it's quite faster than any other one but because uh, it is, uh, since it's very noisy it will uh, not go undetected and if you do the, just the UDP scan it will go undetected and that's why it is, the, it need, it is quite slower than the normal one. So the service stealth scan is completed and we have the service scan started right now. Uh, the detection has started. We are still on 0.6% over here. Okay, 3.5% done. Perfect. So I'll just go ahead and cancel this and because it will take quite a long time. And I'll go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and ping scan. It's just to check whether the operating system is still active or not. Okay, perfect. It's done. So I can see that this host is currently up uh, since uh, and instead of using just this, you can also go ahead and do the same thing over here. You can type SP and you can go ahead and check the same thing and you can hit enter. Zenmap does the same thing as Nmap. It's only that it has a graphic user interface and yes, it's using SN over here rather than SP and it's showing you all uh, the IP addresses of all the things that are active. perfect so we have it over here again uh, OS scan may be unreliable because they, uh, we, they were unable to find one open and one closed port but it did find lots of information that we can use and same one hop PID is incremental that means every with new every operating system only uh, one IP address will increase it means that uh, Kalinux has uh, 0.130 it has 131 so uh, sorry uh, yeah it has 131 and if there's an extra operating system on the LAN it will get 132 so IP address is incremental and these are uh, the flags over here for test user and workgroup ID we have the computer name workgroup again SMB level security and it has also trace routed 
So you don't need to additionally download any specific uh, scripts or uh, application files to go ahead and gather information. This is how Nmap looks like. So similarly, there are ping scan as I told you over here. We have quick scan and let's do it, try to check a quick trace route and how it looks. And uh, it will show you from where it is exactly going through. This is the MAC ID of all of these things. It's the same as doing this, but it will also give you since when, uh, what is the best latency to go ahead and reach them. So this has uh, 17 seconds latency. Perfect. After that, we have a regular scan. And I'll go ahead and use a slow and comprehensive scan, which I would probably be not be completing. So I'll just go ahead and complete this till then. Okay, perfect. So the regular scan shows us all the information that 999 ports are closed, which is quite different from the previous where we got 996. That means it was not able to clearly go ahead and check all the ports. Uh, yeah, 996 perfect filter ports out of 999, three ports open and uh, th uh, three ports are open and the remaining are closed. That means they are filtered out by the firewall and the host is up. So you won't be able to get the operating system information over here and the 253 IP addresses or total of four hosts are open and they can change. So this is how you can go ahead and gather information via Nmap or Zenmap. And this is not just it, there are much more things, but I won't be able to show you. If you want to go ahead and gather much more information, you can just type Nmap and you can go ahead and read it over here. All the information that you need, you will get everything from OS detection to trace routing and everything. And if you're unable to use Nmap, you can also anytime use the Zenmap, which is quite more use, uh, easy to use. And if you're and since over here in the previous one you were not able to actually gather much more information about the host operating system you can use an aggressive scan over here as you can see OSS uh, can and it will show you the exact operating system that means whether it's Windows 7 or 8 or phone it will give you the exact operating system that it has and but it will be since it's aggressive uh, the person having the computer will come to know if he has IDS installed or the administrator will easily come to know about this. So that is it about Nmap in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will be starting with the harvester, the whois and the DNS uh, enum uh, as to how we can go ahead and use them.